Let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button, most importantly. You know, for the what is good, guys. <laughs> Let's get into some, uh, some, some, some top buys and sells here. Uh, just going to run down a list of, of some guys. Not going to get too Trades. crazy with anything as it is getting late into the evening here. Um, oh, that's not the... That was the last segment. Giddy. This is the train target. Gonna need to edit that out. I don't think I can. Uh, whew. Just keeping yeah. it real, man. I can't Gonna. not. I can't tell a lie. Need a new IT guy. I've never. Good luck. Good luck finding <laughs> a guy better than me. <laughs> At my price. Shit. All right. We just we just we just talked a little JT on no regrets, no regrets. However you want to frame it got to be a buy for me if anybody's discouraged with where the Colts are with what he's doing hasn't been a great fantasy output for you but if anybody if we're going to go down this road again I'll be I'm going to go ahead and buy 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 uh, yeah if anybody's wanting to sell JT yeah. come on baby yeah I'll buy all the JT I can get because he looks phenomenal he looks great he's fine he looks just fine to me. It's a so. circus. It's you gotta have some patience sometimes, and it doesn't always fucking work out. And what you can't do is just bail too early because you're you're just impatient. Right. So speaking of impatience, David Montgomery next on the list. Is this a buy, sell, or a hold for David Montgomery? Because he had a not great week one, okay week two. It was pretty abysmal week three. You were hoping maybe with the Field's rushing ability that... Wow, Field's rushing would, ability. That's definitely going to increase David Montgomery. You would really David increase David Montgomery efficiency, but it was not the case. How many points did he I have? Think because like seven. It looked a lot better than the stat line was, I would say. Because, I, I mean, I, wa I watched that game because I wanted to see what Fields looked like. And every time Montgomery got the ball, it was like a first down. Yeah, they were throwing it to him. Yeah, they were rushing like it to him. Seven or eight fantasy points. Only seven and a half. That's crazy because it looks so much better than that. Like he's a, he's a, he's the truth, man. He is a real talent, he and really he can play is. in this league. That offensive line did not play well against the, the that 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 uh, Cleveland front. They just didn't. Cleveland front showed up. They ate him up. They ate up yep. the rookie quarterback. David Montgomery is always going to be a buy anytime. He has a bad game or a bad game or two, and 10 points isn't all that bad. But anytime that that happens, he's one of those guys that, for whatever reason, the community wants to hate on this guy and wants to be like, see, he's just a drag. And at that point, I'll take that. I'll keep making money off David Montgomery every time. Because That's the analytical guys. He's going to go ahead and, and, and he's going to win me some money. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and take that bag off David Montgomery. Let me get him. If you're upset with him, that's a buy for me. Big time. Um, and I'm not selling. So, mm. next, who you got? Adam Defy Regression Thielen. If I have to hear regression mm. anymore, it's the worst. I get Obvious. so mad. Roto World, just want to throw my phone at the wall. Obviously, a guy like this, it all depends on your situation. For sure. Um, but it's a good time to sell him if you don't need him. If you need him, hold on and hold ride that bitch and out. ride it into the dirt. And see what happens. But it's but a good time to sell if you haven't won some games and you, and you need to retool. I can move Adam Thielen. He's out. been good. Last week I argued to keep Cup and keep Lockett, and that worked out. Except week for Lockett three. might be dead. He's fine. Mm. Uh, Maybe he's fine. Yeah, we'll see. Light that 49 ers secondary up. Maybe so, or maybe he'll leave three plays into the game. Still got you like nine or something like that. Oh, I mean, there's no doubt that he's that he's good. Adam Adam Thielen, you know, was a guy who. But I could move on from Adam. I was a little scared of this year because of Justin Jefferson really taking this thing over, which which you know he has. And but Adam Thielen, Kirk Cousins loves him in the red zone, and he just scores fucking touchdowns. Which you know, it's always that's always a tricky, tricky slippery slope to be you know, relying on those touchdowns, but Thielen seems to to get it done and Cousins, they know how to work together and work the red zone. Um, and, and Thielen's still plenty good. But yeah, I agree with you. If, if you're truthful with yourself and, and you got a thin, not great team, you know, you could be a fake two and one uh, paper tiger kind of deal. You get some decent that what that money means? for Thielen um, and, uh, paper and, tiger? and go ahead and ship him out. You know, obviously if, you, if you're confident and you feel good, then you keep him. Uh, one of those aging veterans and ride him into the dirt because all he's done is 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 basically just like David Montgomery, make you money. Um, 
So, all right, next guy on the list, Zach Moss. 13 attempts, 60 yards, three receptions, 31 yards, and a touchdown. Coming off another good two TD game before that. Um, for me, people like Zach Moss coming into this. If you paid a first round for him, I'd be trying to figure out how to get my first rounder back. This seems like a good time. The Bills, I was very pro buying Singletary and Moss. It just, if, if, if you can cash in on the value spike and get a first for Zach Moss somehow uh, or another good running back that, that maybe has another better chance of getting more volume and more touches and being a, a workhorse than, than I would do so and capitalize on this opportunity. If not, I'm fine hanging on to Zach Moss because I do like the, the, the offense and they can score points and there will be some opportunities. Um, but, but they're um, not run-minded, which I'll give Big Co that, but the thing is, is like he's got another guy there in Devin Singletary who looks pretty damn good every time he touches the ball. For some reason, they don't want to commit to him, even though Moss gets hurt and Moss, you know, makes mistakes, fumbles. They still just always in the media. They're always talking him up. They're always like looking forward to Zach Moss. You know, that's the guy they can't keep out of their mouth. For some reason, they fucking love him. But Devin Singletary is a good player, and he's not going anywhere for two more years, like mm-hmm. this year and next year. So like you're stuck. In timeshare purgatory on a team that wants to throw it with Josh Allen or let him run it in. And so I think he's I, it, he's returning good value for what you paid for him, mm-hmm. right? But if you could if you could sell, I'm down. I, yeah. I would take it for, for sure. Yeah, I don't, know back the two? I don't know if that's possible. But would you give back the two? That's not enough. Um, it depends on how I feel about my team. If I feel like I'm going to be a late two, then yeah. All right. Yeah, I feel like you, you know, depending if you're honest with yourself or not, like, like ah, I got a pretty good team, can make a decent playoff run. Most people are not honest with themselves. Yeah. That's why you need to come to us. All right, we'll who's next honest. on the list? Who's next on the list? Who you got? Joe Mixon. I wanted to bring him up last week as a, as a trade target, but you're like, eh, let's just wait. Let's not do it. But then he comes out with another, like, mediocre game, right? Has 25 points in PPR week one, 8.1 week two, and then another 10.4 last week, which if you watched that game, you would think he had way more targets or way more points than 10 because he was running the shit out of the ball, and they they feed him volume. He is a voluminous back. And uh, that offense is starting to take form. And Joe Burrow could be scary. Like, wait till he figures this bitch out. So, I think uh, with two down weeks from Joe Mixon, uh, only had eight, he had 18 carries for 90 yards, didn't get in the end zone, only, I think, caught one ball for four yards. So, didn't have a grand week statistically, but he's getting the work. He looks good. Touchdowns will come. Receptions will come. I will buy some Joe Mixon. Yeah, and they got the Jags coming up on Thursday night. Could be a big Joe Mixon game, so uh, try to get those out. All right. Who, you, who else you got? Uh, let's go Curtis Samuel here. Hasn't been on the field. A little injury prone. Had that one one season last year with the, with the Panthers where he really stayed out on the field. But to me, this is basically, if you look at what's going on with the Redskins, they're f- feeding force feeding diami brown and some other guys and it just seems like he is so needed on this team yeah and when he comes back if he can come back right that he should have instant value and instant just force fed targets and we know that he can do he's a, a lot separator well and a, and a, he's a running back when he gets the ball in his hands so he can score f- yeah. with the ball in his hands if he can just get a hold of it on short and if you're gonna like just watching the last couple of games if you can if you're gonna force feed a bunch of other guys on the team curtis samuel has the the ability uh to to turn anything into a good gain and he's a guy that you would want to force feed take a little pressure off of terry who's absolutely a stud terry. Uh, so curtis samuel right now is a guy that i'd be trying to go by i like that i like the player he just can't stay healthy so i think you could probably get him for fairly cheap because nobody's excited about the washington redskins they have been like forcing Deami Brown that issue, and he hasn't necessarily come through for them. So they are, they need this dude back, and I think that's a good, I think that's a good call. Next guy, Melvin Gordon. 
Melvin Gordon, baby. Ship him out. Probably, probably if you could sell Melvin Gordon for like a two and see if you can maybe squeeze a three in there somehow, I would, I would ship Melvin Gordon out. I mean, he's playing as much pretty as well. I love him he and looks he looks great, good. but he's never going to have more value than this. He's old. Probably not. He's old. He's going to be stuck in this timeshare at best for the rest of the season. I mean, Javante Williams could get hurt and we're not banking on injury here. That's not how we play at the FF dynasty. So we're not going to bank on a Javante Williams injury, but at best, in my opinion, he's stuck in a timeshare. Regardless of how good he looks, next year he's going to be what? Fucking 28, 29, 28? 29. Jeez, dead. Well, straight. He's 28 Dead. in 15 days. So that thing does that thing's not right though. No. It, it doesn't know its dates. But he, 28, that means he's already past 27. I thought he was like 27 right now. But that's saying he's 28. He's gonna, he's going to be so old next year. Like you He'll can't He'll be 29 coming into the season. Dead. He he was dead. Muerto. He was dead and now he's not. Ship him out. His value will never be higher regardless of him being a good player. I don't think his value will ever be high. Yeah, I, I would dynasty. Sque- try to squeeze the second and the third out of him. Do whatever you can and and try to try to ship uh, Melvin Gordon out. As somebody who needs an RB two on their team that that feels good about their team, hey, if you can try to figure out how to squeeze a second or a third from, you know, somebody who could get you ten, twelve to twenty if he scores kind of fantasy points, then you know, great. He could you, could find a good partner there. With if you had Javante, would you be trying to get him? Or? I'm fine with that. I mean, it's only a year, and, and he'll pro- Melvin Gordon will, will be in the league next year, and he looks pretty good right now. It doesn't look like he's lost a whole lot. He doesn't look twenty eight, um, but um, doesn't take long. Though. So I'd be I'd be trying to ship Melvin Gordon on on the back of having some pretty decent games here, um, and the Broncos nest really haven't played a bunch of great teams here. They're I think got the Ravens this week, uh, so I'd be trying to ship Melvin Gordon out for for a two and a three if I could. I like so, it. Uh, the next on the list is a buy for me. Josh Jacobs, again, kind of in the Curtis Samuel vein, hasn't played. They just force-fed uh, Peyton, Peyton Barber. Barber, who's terrible. Uh, Josh Jacobs, in my opinion, is a really good player. Just needs to be healthy. Obviously, the turf toe could linger kind of all season. It's been an ankle. It's been turf toe. We don't really exactly know what's going on. But I'd be trying to buy Josh Jacobs if I could. I think the volume's there. I think the offensive is obviously come around and looks really good. Uh, this seems to be a pretty good team. The defense is playing really well. Um, so I'd be trying to get Josh Jacobs if I could. Yeah, I like that. Carr's playing out of his mind. The The backup they signed off the street is having success. They've fed him in the past. They won't throw it to him, but they'll feed him, and the offense is rolling. He, get a couple. So. he just needs a couple touches. And and he could be – he's red zone, could eat in the red zone. They've been moving the ball really well. People were already off of him coming they into hate the him. season. Right. And now there's been some injury – and uh, so I'd, I'd be trying to buy some Josh Jacobs. I like, you know, a targeting somebody who always seems to be that I think is good that everybody just like a Mont- Montgomery where everybody likes to just hate and say that, you know, he eh, was already hated on this offseason. So Josh Jacobs, another buy same vein on this next guy. Miles Sanders is being drafted right around Josh Jacobs. I think this is a buy for me. All he's done is look really good on the field, whether or not he's going to get um, as much work as he should, um, like this last game, absolutely absurd that he only touches the ball, rushes the ball two times in this entire game. Wow, that Sirianni was, was seemed like he super hit the panic button. Um, hopefully, maybe he'll go back, evaluate, learn his lesson, and, and let one of his best playmakers on the team uh, do his thing. And I think Miles Sanders has all the skill level in the world and after that week one it was like oh here we go and then you know this last week miles sanders uh looked just fine looked the part looked to be somebody that you should be excited about but then never touches the ball um so i think got in that first big divisional rivalry game got down and sirianni maybe could reflect on this and learn uh that you need to go ahead and feed miles sanders because damn he looked pretty good and and you you completely went away from it for no reason. You got spooked while, when you were down and you didn't need to. At least throw it to him. Yeah, I mean, he had two carries and three receptions and 55 total yards. He was averaging 11 yards a touch. Like, let right. my man get the ball. Right. That being said, I don't know that I want to trade for him. I've never loved Miles Sanders, and I don't love yeah, the but he Eagles looks, right He looks now. great, and they got – like I, they just, I think that was – 
that was a weird game. They got a little shell shocked. I'll take the Jalen Hurts with the running back. He's been better with Jalen Hurts. I just I like the talent, and I like that there was already some hate on him. I like that he just had a bad game, um, and I'll 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 go ahead and try to trade for Miles Sanders. All right. You want to hit this next guy, Mike yeah. Dub? Who you got? Is it time to sell Mike Dub? Or are you holding for dear life? I mean, it really just comes. I'm probably just holding for now. I mean, if I guess if you drafted Mike Dub and you were getting really tired of of Mike Dub in general, if you drafted Mike Dub several years ago for way too much money, right? And you've, been and, and you've held him for this long. Maybe I know in FFPC, me and Big Co bought Mike Williams at cut time for like a third or a fourth round pick. And he's been in our lineup every single week. It's been fucking fantastic. So people were definitely, again, this is, goes along with before right now, you could have bought him. And I'm not going to say that I was super interested. Somebody approached us and we had, we were like, eh, yeah, why not? Like, what what, what about him. Mike Williams? And it's like, I, I think I said to, I think it was a patron. I was like, man, I would, I got Mike Williams so many places and I've been on him for so long. He's on his fifth year option and he hasn't. He has it. How many years do I have to come on here and be like Mike Williams and it not pay off before I'm like, you know, I back off for a minute? Well, that's like, you know, that's Mike, Mike Davis who's a career journeyman and there's no way he could be good because he's never been good. <laughs> like, I know he could be good, but they didn't seem to want to throw it to him last year and he does stay banged up from time to time. He's been healthy. And if you're going to put him in this role and they're going to re-sign him, which maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know what their cap situation is. I don't know how the new head coach feels about him, but the new head coach how could you? feels strongly enough that he was being misused, that he is getting premier production out of this guy. I think he's the wide receiver two or three on the year. Um, that There's no way that I could be interested in, in selling Mike David or Mike Williams right now. This is a hold, 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 hold. Um, and I mean, God damn, I'm loving he, some. He's about to turn 27. Could be tied to Herbert. I mean, whatever. Who cares? But he needs to get a contract extension. He, he needs to get. Yeah, obviously that you're hoping you're really, really hoping either way. Like, obviously, if he stays and gets the extension and stays with the Chargers, it's That's great. Best case it's going to be awesome. But either way, you're seeing him used in a certain type of way here where it gives you decent confidence that the next team can put him in a situation that isn't just red zone and, and deep passes uh, and, and misusing the player. Cause that's, you know, a lot of the times what it comes down to as a misuse miscast and Mike Williams can do more than just what they were doing with him where he was so boomer bust. Now it's volume monster and, and just a stud number two. And I mean, can you even call him a number two to Keenan Allen's number one at this point? So, I mean, Keen is still the number one, I mean, but he's not right. Mike I, scoring like the right. number one. And Keen is eating too. They're both, both of them boys are number ones. Right. Yeah. So, all right. The Two last, number ones. Last guy, Damian Harris. We kind of talked about him last week, how he was maybe a sell before this game because this, you really made his whole fantasy day in one play the previous week. Then this week basically gets no run. Mac Jones attempts 51 attempts. Passing My this man week. Could catch. So Andrews Harris why went out. only seems some only sees six attempts this week, and now he has the Bucks coming into town. So I feel like you got a nice little buy low window where you could kind of maybe even buy low and then flip Damian Harris. You know, a few more weeks into the season when when somebody needs good RB two production and Damian Harris can give it to you. I like the talent. I like the player. Really good, not great at anything has always been my Damian Harris stance. But in this team, in this scheme, I think he could be really good. Just happened to run into the Saints, who have a pretty good run defense, and they got all over the the uh, the rookie quarterback there, and they made him pass a lot. And now they're going to get the Bucks, which is going to be another buzzsaw. Now you lost James White for the year. Um, so yeah, they do have J.J. Taylor, who could possibly step into there, and they do have Ramondre Stevenson, who I would assume Bolden. at some point will come in there. But Stevenson will get activated. He's been a healthy scratch. I think Damian Harris could be entering a little by low spot here if he didn't sell a little kind of high there and, and uh, come out of the back end of this thing and have some good games uh, for Damian Harris, get you some, some RB2 or some flexual production. So... I wanted to tie in some super flex stuff here with um, with the buy sell holds just to get a little super flex action in here. Uh, I'll start with Jimmy G. Seems like nobody likes this guy. Oh, Everybody sucks. hates him. He's terrible. He sucks. We know what Jimmy G is, is at this point. He's good, not great. 
He could. He somebody's going to want Jimmy G. All he's done is win. Like I said, no nobody's expecting him to be Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert. Wait, but is winning goes, important? If he goes to a place like what Teddy B's doing in Denver, and maybe he ends up being a Teddy Bridgewater replacement in Denver, maybe he goes to Pittsburgh. Like yeah, we he dropped that talking. earlier. Um, so a nice third quarterback or potential two if you need him uh, in Superflex. I would be trying to buy and see how low I can get the Jimmy G price tag. I like I'm that. not going to break the bank by any means for Jimmy G. I'm not going to do anything crazy. But as I'm trading, I'm going to be trying to get him as a throw in to mm-hmm. go to the next destination. It's always nice to have that backup quarterback uh, on your team. And I think Jimmy's going to get a nice second life here. Um, and at the end of the day, really hasn't played all that much as an NFL starter in uh, terms of how long he's actually been in the league due to some due to injury, some due to sitting behind Tommy. It's probably like um, not even two seasons, right? Like I, mean, I thought I saw some stat where he was like 24 and eight or something like that. Never lost back to back games. Right. That would so, put you right at like two years, like two seasons. So I, I like I like a little buy low on Jimmy, not expecting him to be my QB one or maybe even necessarily my QB two, but a nice three that could that could be your two if necessary. I believe he gets a job next year. Oh, I think so. A hundred percent. They're going to tr- I mean, they're going to get probably trade him for a two or a three. Hopefully that would be ideal. Um, so we'll see what happens, but he's going to get a job. So Jameis Winston. Hashtag in ha- and Shani we trust. I just want to get that out there. Just <laughs> any 49ers fans out there freaking out. Oh, just settle down. Y'all boys are winning. Probably should be 3-0. and Jimmy's doing just fine. And Shani, like if it was Adam Gase and you wanted to question Adam Gase and be mad at the decisions that man's made, sure. But Kyle Shanahan? Kyle Shani? Yeah. Not too many coaches that I'm going to just default to whatever that man wants to do. Right. Like, so many coaches in the NFL, so many teams in the NFL would love to have that guy. Just get, cut my man a break. He knows Lance isn't ready yet. Yeah. Jimmy's winning games. Jimmy drove you down and put you up. Gave Shouldn't have lost to- that game if you could guard Devontae Adams. Right. Jesus right. Christ. Anyway, All I right, like so, the Jimmy G by low. So Jameis Winston gives you another opportunity to get out. Um, See ya. Has two more touchdowns in this oh, game. That the one fantasy, was terrible. The fantasy points aren't bad, but you know I'm I'm probably looking to get out from under Jameis. I said it after week one. If you can get anything near a first, because in the Patreon group they were kind of talking about maybe that was a possibility. If you can get anywhere near that, I'm moving away from Jameis Winston. As it seems like. Almost Taysom Hill should be in operating right. the offense in the in the way that this offense is being run. Um, so I'm I'm can't be any worse. I, no, than it's not, I'm not hating on Jameis. I just it's, it's doesn't seem I'll like it's there. Who's he throwing to? That's fair. He was throwing but, it out of bounds, is what he said. I'm, and then I'm just, Marquez Callaway went up and got it. I'm just gonna try to move off Jameis Winston where I was maybe trying to buy some Jameis Winston in the off season. I've seen it. I'm here. I'd probably be trying to move back off of Jameis Winston if I could. I like it. Um, Derek Carr for me, buy, sell, hold. What do you think? This is a tough one. Man, it feels like you should sell, but like he's probably good. he's playing so well. He's playing so well. I think I will hold for now. And I mean, you probably have to pay too much than you, that you want to pay because the guy that has Drew, Derek Carr right. is probably winning right now. Pleasantly surprised with the output he's getting from Derek Carr. Might not even been using Derek Carr. I doubt the guy who has Derek Carr as their second quarterback. Yeah. So he's number two in attempts, number four in red zone attempts, and number one in deep ball attempts. I love all those. Number one in air that yards. That sound like Derek Carr. Number one in completed air yards. Um, and, he's, he's and he's coming up clutch. Fantasy you know, he's points hitting those per game, deep. not number nine. Uh, so, you know, everybody's a, a hater and maybe somebody who's had Derek Carr for a while and hasn't been able to unload him because he couldn't get anything. Maybe you can go buy him. You My know. only concern is what happens next year, but I could see the Raiders just keeping him. The Raiders are absolutely keeping him. They're that's their. They him love and, him. Him and Gruden are tied they together. They love him. Him and like I was just listening to his brother talk about David, Derek, uh, basically saying is how that hair gel seeped into his brain. How yet? you know. Gruden that, that Gruden loves him because it's like he it's like an extension of Gruden on the field like they're so connected in and what they're thinking and how they're thinking at this point um and and now that that 
they're doing so many different things out there and and do have the deep game involved that I think this is going to be a long time coming. And I think Derek Carr is, you know, maybe finally getting some due that he deserves here. And I, I think he's always been good, just a bit in bad situations. Um, and then learning this whole new thing with Gruden, you know, it's like you, you said, I think Derek it's Carr? tough. I think so. But it's tough. You know, would you give up a first for Derek Carr right now? It's tough to say that you would necessarily but if he's going to give you top 10 oh, quarterback starting if you could prorate this over the rest of the season absolutely then they wouldn't be selling him for a one right but so you, it seems like maybe you could get in there and buy some Derek Carr off of some some still apprehension with Derek Carr when I like what they're doing I like that you know Waller's good seems like Braylon Edwards is or Brian Edwards is emerging Braylon. and it seems like Henry Ruggs can be the deep threat the field stretcher that they want him to be and Derek uh or David you know Derek isn't scared to uh got that monkey off his back where he's going to throw the ball yeah deep. he threw that monkey down so, the and, field and Hunter Renfro is basically almost in flexible Baller. production he's a double digit guy yeah. almost every week so got in the end zone this past week yeah Go right. Tigers so 